bringing an iconic magazine into the digital age. Ebony has been uplifting the black community for decades, and now it's looking toward the future. The magazine's CEO sat down with our Mona Kosar Abdi. For decades, both Ebony and Jet Magazine have been a staple in black households. You walk right in, you see it on the coffee table. But now that we are in the digital age, how are you guys able to adapt to this new medium and also still honor your past? You just stated it. We have to honor our past, which means we have to be exactly the feeling that people had when they received um, the magazines in past when they were delivered to your home. It's the idea of showcasing upward mobility within our community. And so that hasn't changed. That's what's at the root of what we do day in and day out. What has changed is just how you find us, seeing us on social media, the events that we'll put on, the idea that you can go to ebony.com and get that same feeling that you did flipping a magazine. And you mentioned that the core values will always stay the same, but generation to generation, how have the reader's expectations changed? No matter the generation, it doesn't matter whether it's you and I in 2022, our parents having the same conversation, each one of us are trying to figure out ways to enrich our lives and to live the best life that we possibly can. That mission has never changed. Representation matters, showcasing the best and what does it mean when you get to the top? How do they live? How do they feel? What moves them? And you're relaunching Jet next year. What can we expect with this new iteration? Kind of the same movie with Ebony. Hold on to the things about Jet that you liked. You liked that it had the speed and the idea that instead of a monthly magazine, you got to consume from Jet at a faster pace. And so with Jet, we want you to understand kind of the fuel, the idea that it's going to be much faster than, than other publications. And we also want people to understand that Jet was Black Twitter before Black Twitter even was a thought process. Jet was a form of social media before we understood social media. And you mentioned the forward thinking, which brings me to your new slogan, Moving Black Forward. Can you uh, elaborate on that for us? Ebony is legacy. And with legacy, a lot of times you may think that it's rooted in the past. For us, the idea of moving Black forward means that we're constantly looking to our future to uplift, to celebrate and amplify our community, not just here in the U.S., but globally. All right. And this Saturday is the return of Ebony's Power 100 Awards, which celebrates trailblazers in the Black community, including our very own uh, Lindsay Davis. Why is it so important to put a spotlight on people who are notable figures in the Black community and honor them, celebrate them, and give them their flowers while they're still here? It's the idea that if they can do it for those that are going to be either in the audience or those that are going to be consuming the content that we put out, that we can accomplish more than what society normally wants to tell us to. And so we want to make sure Ebony Power 100 is that moment in not only our community, but the world that celebrates the best in various industries. Eden, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.